Hey, everyone, Duncan got his Twitch back. Y'all hear that? Hey, mom, Duncan got his Twitch back. What? Oh, hold up. Shit, I forgot. I don't need a show. I don't need an audience. And I damn for sure don't need to pretend that I'm calling for my mama in my apartment or even imply that I'm living with her because she doesn't give a shit. There's no one around in my apartment to give a shit. And look, other than the Duncan simps out there, no one gives a shit that Duncan got his Twitch back. So let's break this down, guys. This is Duncan McLeod, and you will find that he is the most insecure virtue signaler out there yet. Now, for anyone who isn't privy of any of this, there's been a lot of back and forth between Duncan and the whole world on Twitter, and how fitting. It's fun shooting on people like him because he's a total zero-dimensional joke, and uh, the beautiful thing about insecure motherfuckers out there is that they have this passive-aggressive facade that they have to keep up to hide all of the obvious but her. So yeah, he got his Twitch back and uh, again, Duncan, even though you couldn't take it like a man, because you're not, nor is there any maturity and humbleness attached to you as well, but again, congratulations. You finally got back one of two means of living for you because A, if you didn't, maybe you'd have second thoughts about that masters that is still writing, or B, you can focus on them and not worry about any actual achievements out side of the internet and on the internet for that matter and your masters can continue to rot and just like anyone can get a degree Duncan because you only have to be smart enough to get the degree it's not about fake flexing with it it's about actually doing something with it but we know you you're always compensating for something aren't you and just like that Duncan relax it's no victory even though it is to you but I guess I should have been quiet about that one to make you think that it is you have to continuously grow something in those pennies of yours. But just know that people get their Twitches banned every single day and they get them back. It's nothing to get your accounts reinstated on Twitch. It's probably the most hypocritical and fickle platform to get in trouble on in that regard. And guys, look, it was so easy to ban temporarily his other means of making a living because playing games for a living totally doesn't translate to relying mostly on my simps and their mindless benevolence to make a living off of because one doesn't actually play games for a living let alone shelves their masters in anything in degree for that matter to play video games for a living but this is the clip and I'm not going to play an at least 80% edited version of it because we know how Duncan loves to bitch up when he gets everything against his shitty ego and that goes against him being an insecure virtue signaler addressed. So this is the clip he got banned for because of a misunderstanding. Surely it was a false flag at this point because he obviously got his Twitch back. There's another victory ladies and gents. Let's make sure we mention it loud and clear so Duncan can feel better about himself every single day so he doesn't have to run to the internet to get his tweet count up over any and everyone. He has to defend himself against. More on that later. And this is the rest that explains it all, right? Did I do it, Duncan? Did, did I uh, make you orgasm by claiming your Twitch innocence? Do you feel better now? Are you still going to Uno reverse me and even send me a recording misconstruing the back and forth you're still initiating with me because no one dares respond back to your bullshit to completely debunk any attempt of you reversing your no you back at them. So let's start from the diaphragm, Duncan. Here you are throwing all of the piss because you got your Twitch back. You couldn't be humble enough. Oh, and look at that right there. Let's pause it. Yeah, make sure I pause it because, you know, I don't want to play unedited clips. And look again, another recording in your cell phone that you had the virtue signal with. Hey guys, this is the guy that takes screenshots every day. Surely he gets a living from that no oh well why oh that's right to debunk any and everyone he has cock measuring contests with on the internet especially no mainly twitter yeah this guy he sure showed me just like he shows everybody he screenshots and records just to post on his alternate twitter account by the way duncan there's one more platform left to get back concerning your suspension track record but one out of two suspensions isn't bad you got it back again congrats but that's still not 
not enough to surmount that massive buffalo shit you have for an ego. So yeah, you had to name drop me. You had to name drop everybody again just to go nee 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 again. Who's rent free here? You couldn't get your Twitch back, but you had to nee 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 everybody. For all you're actually worth intelligence wise, it's clear that you left that little pea brain of yours back in the school days, kid. You have to shoot the piss more because you're totally not butt hurt, my guy. You're totally not giving me mentions for free in that troubled and self-doubting head of yours. But who was the one searching for who all retweeted your little fake call to victory? Yeah, because you totally weren't inspired to come on my Twitter to respond at all, but you did. And uh, don't act like you haven't been keeping up the brunt of the back and forth because that's literally the difference between 811 tweets and a mere 31 from me. You want to talk about rent free? And it's not just with me. Look at the insecure cunt who has to convincingly lie to himself every single day. Remember, passive aggressive facade at all times, Duncan. Concerning everyone he has a bitch fight with on his Twitter. Uh oh, guys, you're false flagging his Discord now? Leave him alone. He's gonna make a thousand more tweets in reverence to that alone. And did you have to be so damn obvious about getting your Twitch back? I mean, seriously, you're like a kid with a new toy. Except those toys are your alt account on Twitter and getting your Twitch back. Woo! Finally, you can put all those soiled diapers in the dumpster, son. Now that you're able to make a living again on one of two eBagger platforms. There's your insecurity in a nutshell. There's your need to compensate in a nutshell as well. And of course, that need to virtue signal as well. I tell you now, this part will never happen, so no need to die of suffocation. And here's the big difference between defending yourself and milling not just the internet, but Twitter for self-esteem shots every single day. There it is right there. Now, I'm not going to pretend that you're an adult that I can talk to on that level. So we'll treat you like the fool you are that isn't worth reasoning with. Sweetie, if you have to get your tweet count up in a span of days and even weeks on your alt account on a platform, you're not defending yourself. You're trying to salvage pieces of your shattered manhood every single time someone responds to you because they're not simping to you. They're not your echo chamber. They're not polishing that mountain of buffalo boo-boo called your ego. You're an insecure man-child that has to run the Twitter every single day just to go boom, squeeny, and video recording achievement of a lifetime. I beat everyone. Back and forth on Twitter, that's your rep? Right, got it. And what business? Twitch? YouTube? Kid, you have nothing more than an e-beggar platform just like everyone else on the internet. Everything special about you came from the internet. You are bound to the internet for life, which means nothing of value will ever be gained or lost. So other than your Twitch, um, what business did you have to defend here? What adult-like and mature bastion of a being must you be to even have a reputation? Alongside your suspension track record, your ego flex all over Twitter was never a qualification. But do continue dialing me up in the mention, sweetheart, as I delete all of this mess off of my Twitter because unlike you, I don't need to keep a paper trail to prove anything on the internet to anyone that that never mattered. But again, another actual achievement that contributes to your insecurity. You know, honestly, I thought you were a sliver better getting your mistress Philly beat you to dig up shit on people. And the funny looking motherfucker was so desperate for his baby daddy Duncan to get his twitch back that he had to run the keen star of all people in the hopes of getting a spread from him as well. Yep, that's the only reason this exists. Everybody knows how the exposed game goes. They have the little circle that they have to protect from all of the evil evil doers out there because no one can let shit go. This happened forever ago regardless of anyone who tried to defend themselves. No, they rely on all of you, their idiot followers, to make snap and final judgments because the public court of opinion is that damn powerful. People pick sides. They don't want the facts. No one has the intellect to think for themselves, fact check, and question anything. They just follow the people they simp for. So no wonder so-called whistleblowers like this can only dig arbitrarily to ironically create ammo for the outrage council culture that those idiot followers can only amount to. So guys, if you don't get the word from Blaine's, and if you don't do any actual digging for yourself, go ahead and be another one of their idiot followers and believe
believe everything you see and hear. I didn't even bother reading into any of this and uh, people already assume that I support anti-Semites. Okay, that's just how brain damaged people like this and what they cultivate truly are. But read it and weep. Uh, apparently Blaine's is an anti-Semite. Uh, that's cool, I guess. But it's not cool. No, I didn't mean it. Oh, who gives a fuck? Fake heroes like this claim that they're not about the drama, even though they gravitate to it every single day for clout. They follow it up with personal attacks and deflection. And now, according to Philly Beach U, I support a neo-Nazi because you call out their bullshit as it is. I'm still waiting for these insecure virtue signalers to provide any proof of the stupid shit they say before they think and every time someone calls out their bullshit in general. So while Duncan continues to follow my Twitter closely as well as yours and making video recordings as well. Wait, there it is. Yeah, that's just one of them. Let's see what else we have to talk about here because the back and forth surrounding Duncan is just an infantile circus no better than what preschoolers enjoy every single day. And honestly, preschool is preferable. You have a bunch of bitches on here that literally live and die by the internet. The internet, ladies and gents, and they sure show all of us that call out their hellish need for self-esteem shots. Ho, oh, this guy, he has to defend his reputation and his business of uh, cockfighting on Twitter every single day, hundreds of tweets in on his alt account. And when he's in a slump, he gets his mistress, this so-called whistleblower and hero that doesn't like drama, despite gravitating towards it, to dig up shit on people because that's the same shit they do in politics, don't they? Congratulations, Philly. You have a bright future ahead of you, boy. Just think, along with your buddy Duncan, this is all your lives consist of. What if the internet were to go down a single day? What if Twitter didn't exist? Something to think about. So what's up next to talk about with Duncan? Oh, no, there's nothing to talk about here. And guys, let me give you a little background about me. It's not about where I'm from. It's just how I carry myself. Now, some may think that true friendship or whatever fucking title you hold somehow correlates to involving yourself in shit that doesn't concern you, I know that this is his wife and I don't give a shit about that. Because in the same vein that this is his wife, by that logic, that means any brunt of his attacks is the same one she'll gladly take. And since they are married, then yeah, she's just as liable since she wants to involve herself in shit that doesn't concern her. I find it absolutely pathetic and very bitch, not ladylike. Now hey, it's fine. Go ahead and block people. There are trolls out there and people that just only want your energy. But the least you can do is not be a bitch hiding behind a block talking shit about someone when I never even sent a single tweet to you. Oh, it has something to do with that stream. You mentioned that, Duncan. Comedy and projection gold, I must admit. 800 plus tweets in and your hellish need to reply to any mentions of me and surf my Twitter just to see the latest thing I laughed at about you. Again, ironic. Two hours worth of videos. Uh, well, obviously my other account was uh, disabled and if you could count because you have a very inconsistent way of comprehending numbers, you'll know that the few videos I made of you weren't even an hour's worth. Flash forward to the present, Duncan. The present. And uh, yeah, this is just a mention of you. And of these 25 minutes, I dare say roughly 10, maybe 15's about you. But even then, that doesn't equate to two hours worth of content about Duncan. But I thought you loved exposure. I thought you needed a show, an audience, and to virtue signal just to get by every day. Shame on the beggar trying to be a chooser. One no live stream that your bitch ass had to copyright strike because remember Duncan if you have to run to the law but you can have a back and forth on Twitter once again I'm rent free once again I got under your skin and once again I have you cunt whipped yeah Kayan according to the mentions that he's still pressing rewind on right now as we speak yeah I am far more relevant than he'll ever give me credit for but he'll spin it like he spins everything else because Duncan's game ladies and gents is not really proving that he's right about a damn thing is focusing on belittling you and therefore as a result trying to prove how wrong you are and he will tweet you into submission as a result followed up by screenshots to further supplant his tangential mental gymnastics of deflection
Well done, Duncan. I said you were zero dimensional before, but goddammit, you gave me another example of that. You're doing this shit on purpose, aren't you? Who fucking knew? So as you Spider-Man meme yourself over and over again, Duncan, try to stay off of my dick. Not just metaphorically, Duncan. I mean my Twitter as well. Before trying to uno reverse yet another no you. And Duncan, anytime our wife has to co-sign let alone fight our battles, just as to how pussy made you truly are. Hell, Duncan, if that's all she's worth, why isn't she cosplaying in a fur coat with a fucking leash on her? So that way you only have to shout words to her like, sit, stay, shoo. Emphasis on shoo every single time it comes to you fighting your own battles. You mangy bitch. Oh, that's right, but you need your idiot followers. You need her and whoever else will simp for you on Twitter alone to do that and virtue signal with you. The mounting of the you sure showed me play gets even more delusional. Duncan McCloud doesn't know the difference between child porn and fake child porn. Mm, what's this big word? Oh, portmanteau. Let's see. Duncan isn't the only one for a knack for search engines. Ah, this is the one we're looking for right here. Words that blend their sounds and meanings like brunch and motel. Got it. So Loplex? Lolitaplex? Oh fuck, what is he getting at? A book about a pedophilic relationship. Oh, so he's a sensationalist now. Okay. Duncan, can you tell the difference between being busted with actual child pornography and the Dr. Seuss book? There's a walket in my pocket? I don't think you can. How many books have you read in your time, child, that are about something, anything for that matter, whether it's a relationship, pedophilic relationship, or anything? Tall stories? Short stories? True stories? You don't even know what the fuck any of those mean, do you? I doubt you do, but let me, uh, help you out a bit there. This is arbitration, not logic. You're a surface level thinker. Everything's black and white. So what you do is post a bunch of links and articles, wiki things as well, just to misconstrue everything about them. Why? Again, because you're a surface level thinker. Okay, the Protect Act of 2003. That's the difference between providing evidence and actually reading it. What does the Protect Act of 2003 imply? Well, here are these bulleted points, but most importantly is this part right here. The law does not explicitly state that images of fictional beings who appear to be under 18 engaged in sexual acts that are not deemed to be obscene are rendered illegal in and of their own condition. Illustration of sex of fictional minors. The law does not explicitly state State this, Duncan. Try to separate personal from reality. Try to separate your closeted urges from reality. Try to separate your ignorance from reality. Yeah, sure. You didn't say lollipop was the issue, even though you're making it one. Young anime characters aren't an issue at all. Sure, you say, unless you sexualize them. Well, hold up. You clearly didn't read the link you provided because the law isn't something you can make up. You have a master's in genetics. You have yet to pass a single bar, including the one lowered concerning all of your fake metals on Twitter alone. Again, Duncan, it's metals, not metals, metals. Would you like me to provide a link to the definition of that word? I'll gladly do that. Just make sure you don't misconstrue that one either. So yeah, Duncan, it's easy to provide links, wiki things, reference articles, but it's really not in evidence if you don't understand it or read it for yourself. How did this get past someone with such an immense IQ as yours? I mean, surely someone who gets off and lives and dies by the bitch fights he engages in on Twitter every single day couldn't have missed this bit right here. No, you're way too intelligent for that. So it doesn't matter what you think, Duncan, because surely you're in a country that frowns on this and that's fine. That's y'all problem. But if someone wants to whack off to images of minors that don't exist, they're not committing a crime. They're not a pedophile. Maybe if this is all you and your wife can engage in, then I question your bedroom prowess. The both of you now, outside of the internet. That moment you realize that your character is largely based on your actions on the internet. Oh yeah, that's right. Passive aggressive facade. I love this one right here, Duncan. Wait for it. For someone who lives in the UK, he sure knows a lot about a country he doesn't live in. 
let alone their statutes. But here we go. Lolly is not legal in the USA. <gasps> and there are cases of people getting jail time for possessing it. Hold that thought right there, Duncan. The guy that makes a not monetary living providing screenshots and video evidence as proof. You don't have proof of these cases of people getting jail time for possessing it? Oh, that's right. You're going to provide more wikis, articles, and links that you misconstrue and are ignorant of because you don't have the reading comprehension to read far enough into them to actually know what they mean or what's actually debunking your fucking ignorance. So, no dice there. But you said so yourself. It's not classified as child porn in the United States. But wait, you just said it's not legal. Child porn is illegal in the United States, Duncan. And we didn't even account for the federal and state levels of things here. Oh man, another link. Shall I click on it, guys? Alright, here we go. Free Speech Coalition made clear that banned material must meet either the Ferber or Miller standards. There is no dispute the images in this case do not involve real children. Real children, Duncan. Thus, Ferber is inapplicable. Let's talk about Ferber a bit. Keep in mind that this is New York. They had an obscenity law that made it illegal for an individual to promote any performance which includes sexual conduct by a child less than 16. Ferber was charged with this for selling two films to an undercover police depicting young boys masturbating. Admittedly disgusting. He was acquitted of the obscene sexual performance count, but was convicted of the indecent sexual performance count. But the New York Court of Appeals overturned the conviction finding the obscenity law unconstitutional under the First Amendment because the law was both under-inclusive as to other films of dangerous activity and overbroad as to its application to materials produced out of state and non-obscene materials. The court, however, upheld the constitutionality of New York's obscenity law, ruling that it did not violate the First Amendment and reversed and remanded the case. For a long time before the decision, the court had ruled that the First Amendment allowed the regulation of obscenity. Here's the interesting part. The court in Ferber found that child pornography however, may be banned without first deemed obscene under Miller for five reasons. The government has to have a very compelling interest in preventing the sexual exploitation of children, Duncan. That means all those drawings of underage girls that don't exist most likely aren't going to fall in their interest. They're just going to see articulate people just having fun with shit that once again emasculates you. Distribution of visual depictions of children engaged in sexual activity relating to the sexual abuse of children. Of these lolly girls, Duncan, how does any of this correlate to child abuse? They're just drawings of underage girls that don't exist. Now, by this point, they've already deemed me a pedophile, so let me move on. Three should be spelled out easily for you. Then again, it shouldn't, considering that it's you, Duncan. But again, how are these drawings relative to child pornography, as I pretend to wait on your educated answer? Visual depictions of children engaged in sexual activity have negligible artistic value. Is it clicking yet? Am I even getting warm? So, yeah. Yeah, and number five just closes it out by reiterating the same point. Real versus fictional. Marvin Miller was an owner and operator of a California mail order business specializing in pornographic films and books. He sent out a brochure advertising books in a film that graphically depicted sexual activity between men and women. This guy's content was mailed to a restaurant in Newport Beach, California. He violated California law that deemed this illegal, which has nothing to do with lolly girls, and child pornography. He brought broke a law in California, which does not support your narrative in any way. I mean, neither of them did, but damn, son. Talk about a million IQ play. When you're providing links to things, make sure you read them in full detail. And then get back to your Twitter cockfight for self-esteem shots. So, because of this, because of him breaking a California law, he was charged, which is typically what happens when you break the law. It's not just what he did. It's the fact that he broke a law not relative to your narrative in any way, Duncan. Cute agenda, but weak ass flex for IQ and internet points. So he appealed his case and it went all the way up to the Supreme Court, which granted him a certiorari. Yeah, this thing right here, you literally won't be hearing a lot of this damn word because the California law was based on its two previous obscenity cases which the court wanted to revisit. So he had his appeal based on the memoirs versus Massachusetts. The Miller decision vacated the 
jury verdict and remanded the case back to the California Superior Court. Take that as you will. And guys, I will happily provide the links for you to actually read them to understand what's going on instead of posting things to not only misconstrue them, but to be ignorant to them because you didn't bother reading them because they look so flashy with nothing more than ignorant and arbitrary narratives and an agenda to match. But if anything, I guess we can thank the Miller case for providing the state's greater freedom in prosecuting alleged purveyors of obscene material. Yes, safe to say back then that things were more serious concerning charges of obscene material. And when you put all of this shit together that Duncan obviously didn't uh, do his homework on, he just provided the links because it's so much easier to provide flashy things for our narratives. The Ferber case actually involved the child pornography and this one just provided obscene material. Not only are you better off blocking people before thinking after you shit post and providing links your ignorant ass then bother doing your homework on but uh, how does all of this prove that lolliporn is a problem in any way and that it is any kind of relative to child porn yeah you say it's not classified as that but you had to run to a twitter tangent for evidence I guess ah there it is ah let me make sure I include these in the video as well because he loves to try and run to the cop out of someone misconstruing things and not including tweets like someone is supposed to keep up with his Twitter tale of the tape and meter that's still running. You claim they're not real life children, but you like to treat people who are into lolly porn like they're pedophiles. And that's ironic, again, Duncan, when you say stupid and hypocritical, not surprisingly, shit like this. I have nothing against anime, just against a lolly porn. I don't have an issue with regular hentai either. No matter what way you shake it, Duncan, this is hentai. Where's any real difference? Or are you going to uh, cherry pick everything as you back pedal back into the stupid shit you've been uttering this entire time. Duncan only knows how to deflect, ladies and gents. It's no wonder. It's not about him again proving that he's right and you're wrong, but by proving in a special way that you're wrong by belittling you. All this asshole can do is backpedal on the stupid and uneducated shit he says. And Duncan, this has everything to do with reporting shit to Twitter. How do you think they got their analysis in 2019? Which assessed the more reports than ever before, but only half contained imagery we could action. False reports waste charity resources and can distress their analysts. So that's why when assholes like you, uneducated as fuck as you are because of your personal hard on you have deep down for this shit you're so offended by, I wonder why, you make it harder for the actual victims out there to come forward by doing the stupid shit you do, but that's just your M.O. Look at your Twitter track record alone to see that. And if they're not real life children, then why is there a problem, Duncan? Why is Lolly not legal in the US even though it's been proven in this video alone that this not legal claim is yet something else you didn't rehearse? And Duncan, please tell me the difference between federal and state and how you claiming that it's not legal in the entirety of every state in the US somehow holds up. And I guess the Ferber and Miller, only two examples you didn't bother reading deep into at all were these examples you're talking about getting jail time? And if so, then that's clearly not the case. Entirely, is it? And yeah, sure, it's not classified as child porn, which again, shelves your other attempt at an argument. And as Miller has taught us, it is considered obscene material in some states, except that was the guy that broke a California law for what was considered obscene material considering the constraints at the time. Duncan, you can't even do genetics properly. What the fuck makes you think you ever had an edge in law? Oh, look at that, Duncan. Are they violating the Twitter rules? I, I don't see that account gone. Oh, man, that is too much fucking sexual exploitation of children. Child abuse is the exploitation of children. Get this motherfucker off of Twitter or better yet, the planet. What would the world be if Duncan was allowed to make a single law? You think things are bad now? Because they've already deemed me a pedophile for some reason, I guess I'll take this as a souvenir. For a guy that loves to skin his clit crying about people falsely reporting everything about him, true or not, don't you think that's still a bit rich when it comes to you promoting the exact same thing? Hey, ladies and gents, at this rate, if someone has pornography getting a sloppy top from some Fruit Loops, you can bet your ass 
ass that they are a serial rapist. Duncan Logic in a nutshell. And here's the last bit because Duncan has been doing so well this entire time that he needs a bone thrown to him. Here, doggy, come get it. The password thing. Whatever dumb fuck is actually doing this, they're clearly a virgin in actually doing it and doing it properly. Now, we have no definitive proof of Duncan and his wife and anyone for that matter doing this, ladies and gents. But what you can say is that it's pure coincidence, even though coincidence is clearly not evidence, that this happened to any and everyone and happened around the time this massive back and forth with Duncan happen. That's all you can really say about it. And I guess coincidence is enough, albeit still not evidence, when you consider who we're talking about here. Why would anyone be interested in just spamming people with password reset messages? It just doesn't make any sense. It didn't achieve anything other than to spam people? I mean, no one got got, did they? And guys, for all you know, it could be a separate third party out there that's just rocking the boat looking at all of this. I even got, I'll say one password reset text and that was it. So whoever this person is clearly doesn't think as highly of me as my obsessor Duncan. This is Duncan in a nutshell. You can see why he has to relish all of his fake victories over the internet because this is all he'll ever have. I'm enjoying this. I'm sitting back laughing every chance I get. But Duncan, just, just slow down a little bit. There's gonna come a time where you look back and realize that you didn't just leave your sanity in someone's preschool but all of this shit is going to go away one day. And while you economy grade trolls that's you your wife and your simps achieve the greatest uh achievements you can only on twitter you're gonna step out of your basements get a breath of fresh air and realize you never had much to your lives and it perfectly aligns with your shallow ass character kid you came running to me with a nee 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 near after you finally got your twitch back but what if you didn't get it back duncan yeah i'm sure it wouldn't be the end of the world but uh you would die a little faster inside which is astounding for one as hollow as you are. Case in point, like I said before, Duncan, everything special about you came from the internet. You're nothing more than a fragile and insecure cog in that outfit, son. I can leave the safety and confines of my computer, enjoy life, live in the real world, and run right back to Twitter for more much-needed ego boosts and self-esteem shots. You're nothing more than an insecure virtue signaler whose Plaque is only as big as the internet is. Not only were you always dead mentally, Duncan, but before you doubled down on all of your buffoonery, you were DOA at the PMs to begin with.